Hello everyone. Welcome to Star Tech Academy. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss. Integrating ChatGPT into Excel. If you are interested in using the power of ChatGPT within your Excel spreadsheets, you are in the right place. Let's dive in. So before we begin, let's start with a brief introduction. Excel is a powerful tool for data analysis, calculations and automation. It provides a range of functions and features to make our work easier. But what if we could enhance Excel's capability by integrating it with ChatGPT? But first, let's talk about ChatGPT and understand how integrating it into Excel can benefit us. So ChatGPT is an advanced language model developed by OpenAI. It's trained to generate human-like text responses based on given prompts or conversations. By integrating ChatGPT into Excel, we can use its natural language processing capabilities within our spreadsheet. Now let's see the integration in action by demonstrating an example and showcasing the output. In this example, we will use some if formula prompt to demonstrate how ChatGPT can assist us in generating Excel formulas. We'll input the prompt. Can you provide an example of the sum if formula? And we'll see how ChatGPT generates the formula for us. By running the code and executing the assigned macro, we'll see the generated completion in the Excel sheet. Like the above example, there are many more benefits of having ChatGPT integrated into Excel. It allows us to automate complex tasks, generate text-based reports, and even create interactive chat-based interfaces within our spreadsheets. This integration opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Now let's start integrating ChatGPT into Excel. First, open a new Excel workbook and locate the Developer tab. If you can't see Developer tab, then don't worry. We can easily add it to your ribbon. To add the Developer tab, right-click anywhere on the ribbon and select Customize Ribbon option from these options. In the Customize Ribbon window, ensure that checkbox next to the Developer tab is selected and then click OK to confirm the changes. So now as you can see that here we have our Developer tab. Now to open the Visual Basic Editor, click on Visual Basics button. This will bring up VBA Editor window. Here you need to open this Project Explorer and in this window, you can see your project name, expand the section and go to Microsoft Excel objects. Here you can see your sheet name. Click on your sheet name and here this window will open up in which we have to write our code. You can find the code in the GitHub repository linked in the video description. Simply click on the copy icon on the GitHub page. Now that we have the code in place, we need to input our API key at the top section of the script. Retrieve your API key from the OpenAI platform and paste it into the designated area. If you don't know how to retrieve the API key, let's quickly go through the process. To get started with the ChatGPT API, first of all, you need an OpenAI account. If you don't have one, then you have to sign up in your OpenAI account. For this, you have to visit OpenAI website which is www.openai.com and here you have to log in or sign up to your account. Once you have created your account, navigate to the OpenAI dashboard. You can usually find dashboard or account link in the top right corner of the website. Click on it to access your dashboard. In the dashboard, you will find various sections and settings related to your OpenAI account. Look for the API keys or credentials section as this is where you can generate your API key. Click on the API keys or credentials section to expand it. Here you will have the option to create a new API key. Click on the create new key or generate key button to generate your API key. Once you have generated your API key, copy it. This key is essential for authenticating your request to the ChatGPT API. That's how you log into OpenAI, create an account and obtain your API key. Now let's move on to the next step. Let's assign the macro to the quick access toolbar. In Excel, 
click on the arrow icon on the top left corner and select more commands. In the Excel options, Windows, choose macro from the left sidebar, add the macro from the personal workbook to the quick access toolbar using the add button. Optionally, you can modify the button icon to your preference. Once done, click on OK to close the window. If you want to add a macro button, you can do so by following these steps. First, go to the developer option, then select the insert option. From there, choose a shape such as a rectangle. Next, draw the shape wherever you want it on the screen. A window will then open where you should select the Open AI Completion option. Once you click OK, you will have your macro button on the sheet. When you close the workbook, you will receive a prompt asking if you want to save the changes to the personal workbook. Make sure to click Save to ensure the VBA codes remain available in all your Excel files. Let's explore how ChatGPT can help us generate Excel formulas by using the count function as an example. To demonstrate this, we will input the query could you show me an instance of the count function and see how ChatGPT generate the formula for us. Upon executing the code and running the designated macro, we'll witness the responses generated by ChatGPT appear within the Excel spreadsheet. That's it. You have successfully integrated ChatGPT into Excel using VBA macros. Now, let's dive into the VBA code that enables the integration of ChatGPT into Excel. We'll go through the code function by function, explaining what each function does and its purpose in the integration. First, we have a module. It contains the necessary code for communicating with the ChatGPT API and fetching text responses. We have the following functions and subroutines. The code first defines these constants, tell the code where to send the request, which module to use, how many words to generate, and how creative to be. Open AI Completion This function retrieves text responses from the ChatGPT API based on the selected cells in Excel. It prepares the prompt, make an API request, and processes the response. API Endpoint this is the URL of OpenAI API. This is the address where the code will send the request to generate the responses. Model This is the name of the model to use. The model is a pre-trained language model that is used to generate the responses. There are other models available such as ADA, Babbage, Curie, and DaVinci. As you can see on this page, However, we opted for the newest model as it provides the most promising and most powerful responses, which make it the perfect fit for our code. Max Tokens This is the maximum number of words to generate. This is the number of words that the code will request from the OpenAI API. Requesting a higher number of words can result in increased costs. Temperature This is the temperature of the generation. This is a value that controls the creativity of the responses. A higher temperature will result in more creative responses, while a lower temperature will result in more predictable responses. Regenerate completion This subroutine clears the previous output and regenerates a new response based on the same prompt. Add regenerate button This subroutine adds a regenerate button to the Excel sheet to enable easy regeneration of responses. Parse response This helper function extracts the generated response from the API's response text. Now let's see the integration in action again by demonstrating an example and showcasing the output. In this example, we will use the prompt for the average if formula to demonstrate how ChatGPT can assist us in generating Excel formulas. For the average if prompt, we'll input, can you provide us an example of average if formula and see how ChatGPT generates the formula for us. By executing assigned macro, we'll see the generated response in the Excel sheet. The output will include the generated formulas for average if prompt, allowing us to leverage ChatGPT's 
capability to enhance our Excel formulas. We have successfully integrated ChatGPT into Excel using VBA code. But if you want to use both of them individually, means if you don't want to go through these codings and you don't want to integrate Excel with ChatGPT. For this, we have created another video and we have provided the link of that video in the description of this video. So if you want to use them individually, you can go through that video. So that's all. I hope you found this video informative and that it inspires you to explore the integration of ChatGPT into your Excel projects. If you find this video helpful, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.